Happy Friday, everyone. It's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. I've got a new daily spread to share with you guys all about my pink gothic accessories, stickers, and all that stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and let's get to planning. Okay, so for this spread, I am working in my Chic Coffee Lover One Month Planner. This is one of the daily page templates that comes with this planner. And I wanted to create a spread that's all about my pink gothic accessory bundle. So um, this daily page actually started out as uh, a sample page that I was going to use in the, uh, the listing for my shop. And I thought, well, you know two birds, one stone and all that. So it's, it was my daily page for that day and it was the listing image for the shop. So it worked out great. So I started out by covering up the pin that comes on the planner with this really cool pin. Oh my gosh, I love this pin. It's got this really cool rib cage on it and flowers and I just really love it. Um, and then I'm just grabbing some of the different accessories that comes with this set um there's also a now there's a matching uh paper notes set that that totally goes along with this so um it's not shown in this video because i created it afterwards um after someone requested a paper note set that they loved the coffee notes so they wanted the paper notes for the pink gothic so it is now in the shop so don't forget to go grab that but I wanted to mix in some other stickers with this. So I'm pulling in some from the rose gold set. And I'm using this colored box to just cover up the top priorities list that comes on this page template. And I just love this little sticky note. That although is it a sticky note if it has a paper clip. Because then I guess it's just a clipped note. It's just a note. I don't know. Whatever. It's fun and I really like it. Um... But I wanted to cover up that top priorities section on the the page template because I just really loved that little paper note so much. And then I'm just going to layer up some stuff here with this little stationary sheet that's got some fun grungy texture to it. Spider, heart, flowers, skeletal hand. I mean, it's just full on pink gothic, you guys. It just is. So... I thought I would grab, to layer up some things, I thought I'd grab some colorful boxes. And then I ended up thinking, okay, this dark and moody set would go great with the pink gothic. Because, you know, they're both a little kind of like dark, but in a pretty way, right? So this sticker, I just wanted to pull in some of that purple color. But I didn't really want to distract from the rest of the gothic set. So I thought that that little crystal necklace would be perfect for it. And I'm grabbing just one of these basic colored boxes and using the image tool to just stretch it out. And I'm going to do the same thing I did at the top of the page. And I'm just going to cover up this bottom section. There's no words on this section, but it gives me a good solid background and covers up those lines. Sometimes I accentuate the lines on the page template with the pen tool. And sometimes I just cover it up with a sticker. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just doing the... The tried and true cut and paste method. I've heard recently that this method of cutting and pasting bothers people. I don't know why. It's like super simple. You just cut and you just paste. It's like, I don't, I don't know why that's bothersome. It's simple. Super simple. I mean, come on people. It's simple. Just cut and paste. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, once again, just layering up stuff. I wanted to pull in some more kind of gothic-y things with the skull washi. And then layering it up with a colored box and lining it up with the grid. 
Was that comment too snarky? I hope that wasn't too snarky. I mean, it's just cut and paste. Get over it, people. I, I just did it again. It's okay. My coffee has not kicked in. It's super early. Anyways, okay. So, this, uh, the Dark and Moody set comes with some paint strokes. It's one of my standard sets, and I just love these little paint strokes. So, I'm just layering this up here. Um, if you stay around to the end of this video, you can see that I add the date in that little box up there too. It's a perfect place to add the date. Just a simple thing. And this set also comes with these simple little headers that just match perfectly. So I've got to do. I'm just going to cover up the words here. It just works great, right? So here's my pen tool and in the, the shape setting so that I can just outline this box in a black so that it just really goes along with the theme and it makes that section just stand out. I love doing that. I think it's a really good way to add some sim simple color to your spread. Well, is black a color? Technically, it, well, oh, technically is it? Oh, the tangents in the morning. It's okay. All right, so now I'm just sprinkling around some fun little paper clips that goes along with this um, accessory bundle. Um, just because they are freaking cute. I'm having so much fun coming up with different themes for these accessory bundles. If you have a request for a theme for one of these accessory bundles, just send me a message because I'm slightly obsessed with them and you guys seem to really, really like them. Um, hint, hint, there will be a set with my September collection that's coming out very soon. So get ready. There's another one coming. All right. So layering up boxes it's a fun way boxes are a fun way to add notes to your page without just doing the boringness of just adding notes to your page so if you just add a box and then put your notes in the box then it's just something fun and here i'm gonna use this washi tape I, you saw i squashed it and i'm just copying it to once again copy and paste super handy and i'm just gonna line those up i realized after the fact when i was editing this that that middle section the dark purple is not the same size but it's okay i'm just gonna like i didn't realize it until now so obviously it didn't bother me when i was making it so it's okay it's one of those things and now we need a note for the day so i'm gonna go over here to this accessory bundle and i'm gonna pick one of these little washi strips there's paper washi and then there's like sticky to like tape washi so I chose to go with the gray, so it pulls in some of the grays on these other things. And I'm just going to add my date, change the font, and resize it so that it just fits really good. Oh, I just love it. It's, it's simple. It's basic. It was like one of those things where, you know, I got a lovely page spread for my listing, and I got my daily page spread for the day. Now let's add some glitter. Oh, digital glitter no mess all the fun right am i right it's okay you can say it and to pull in more of these uh the skull kind of look um i thought i should get like one of these little flags that comes in with this little set and i went back and forth about like what else do i need do i want to add too much let's not go overboard let's just grab this little skull flag and put this as a little designation, just is bookmark maybe a little, I don't know. It's a little flag and it's cute. It's got a little skull and it matches the washi and I really like it. So this is the spread. It is simple. It's lovely. These accessories are so much fun. And this is what the page looked like at the end of the day. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Why am I waving? You can't see me. Bye. <laughs>